Do you guys struggle with getting a brand new bowling ball and just not quite understanding how it rolls, how to strike with it, where to throw it, things like that? Well, today I'm gonna give you guys some of my tips how to better understand that brand new bowling ball when you're out there bowling league, when you're practicing, whatever the case may be, so that way you can get to throwing some eight baggers just a little bit quicker than before. So I have three new bowling balls today. I got the new Explosion from Columbia. I got the Katana Assault, and I've got the new Knockout Bruiser by Brunswick. So I'm gonna warm up, get my gear on, because I'm not gonna bowl in my and one socks from Walmart, shout out Wally World, and uh, we'll get to seeing what these balls do. So as I kind of warm up real quick, I do advise you, when you get a new bowling ball, go out and bowl a couple games of practice before you bowl league, a tournament, whatever it is, you know, so you can get a better understanding and do some of these tips that I'm gonna give you guys today. And PS, 60% of the time, every time the first shot strikes. Just saying. Numbers don't lie, guys, numbers don't lie. So whatever lanes you're bowling at, if it's your home center and you kind of have a better understanding of what those lanes are like for you, for your first couple shots with that new bowling ball, I want you to stand in the most comfortable part of the lane that you like to play. If it's standing on 10, 20, it doesn't matter, but wherever you like to comfortably play and make the best shots that you can, I want you to throw about five or six shots from there. Even if the ball isn't hitting the pocket, if it's getting three, if it's striking, just throw about five shots in there so you can kind of understand how does it line up to where you're more comfortable. Terrible shot. That's what you love to see though. We can make a better shot than that. No, we can't. <laughs> Get this ball out of here, I don't want it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really not throwing it that good right now. Until that shot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the limits of this bowling ball and just see where this ball kind of separates what it's good at and what it's bad at. So because I'm not really warmed up yet, I don't wanna try to throw it hard. So we're gonna move 10 right. That's a good amount. Let's see if this ball still continues down lane when we move in this much. <laughs> Don't you do it. All right, the first shot looked good. Let's see if we can repeat it. Not as good a shot by Kevin. Well, a blind 10 board move to the right, and I've hit the pocket two times in a row. Um, the second one I didn't throw very good, but I still got the seven out. That tells me that this ball is a little bit cleaner and it likes to store more energy. Another three right. Let's see if it still tries to hook. Throw it a little slower. Not bad, honestly, to move 13 boards where I was striking originally and still hit the pocket is pretty good. Moving that much in and seeing the ball still do the right thing and shape the right way down lane and hit the pocket and, and strike two of the three times tells me that this ball is gonna be better when I can open up my angles a little bit. So now I'm gonna move left, I'm gonna throw it a little harder up the lane. I expect it to be a little too clean. That's just my prediction, but let's see what it does. So from the original base of where we were standing, about 15, we're gonna move 10 left now. Pretty good. Now you can't go off the unibaggers. It looked good for one shot, but we'll see what a couple more shots does. A little bit more up the lane. Oh my God. Apparently this is just the best ball ever. You can throw wherever you want. Well, two for two throwing it harder and they both looked really good. Bad shot. So this is now turning into a how good is the new katana ball video instead of me showing you guys how a new ball should roll or not roll. Guys, I promise it's not usually like this, I swear.
apparently this is just the most versatile ball ever known to man ever because it's struck from everywhere. So what that tells me is this is going to be a good benchmark ball right out the bag. It's a ball that you can probably throw for most of your league night. It's just strong enough it can handle oil and it's just weak enough that it's going to get through the front part of the lane and still continue later in that block. Again, I'm going to stand in my favorite part of the lane and see what this ball does from there and then we'll make our adjustments as we go. Standing on 15, which means I'm going to slide about 20, 21-ish. Looking about 13, which will be more like 15. Hit the pocket, a little lazy down lane. I know you guys are all confused by me saying where I'm standing, but where I'm actually sliding, where I'm looking, but where I'm actually throwing. Most of you, I say a lot of people, are always gonna be about two or three inside of where they actually look at at their target. Just, I don't know if that's a trick with your eyes or what the case is, but if I'm looking at about 13, I'm probably hitting 15. Man, why am I getting all these hits? I don't get the trip six when it matters, but I mean, maybe I'm dialing it in now. So a couple shots in, the first one was a little lazy down lane, it kind of shaker five pin. And then that one I threw just a hair slower and it picked up pretty soon. So, so far this ball's telling me it's a little bit earlier than the Quintana is. That's decent. First adjustment, let's move inside and see if it still continues. No real shock there, no real shock. So 10 right's a little excessive just right off the bat. I'm gonna move a couple back more left. So this is more about seven right from the original couple strikes we threw. Much better. Yeah, a little too early to be hooking it that much. All right, here's where I think this ball's gonna thrive. We're gonna move left, Give him the heater, Ricky. Oh yeah. I think that's where it's gonna strike most. Terrible shot. Does not matter at all. A little slow. A little slow, but that's all right. Columbia Explosion. Definitely an earlier rolling bowling ball. It's got a bigger cover. I see that it picks up pretty soon, so it's gonna handle oil a little better. It's gonna be able to keep you in front of you a little better because it's smoother down lane. You know, as you saw when I started to kind of hook it, it just got a little lazy or picked up too soon and wanted to hook too early. When I got a little straighter with it, it stayed on line. It was a lot smoother. I 6'8'd it on a bad shot. Honestly, to still 6'8 and still almost be in the pocket on a pretty slow miss is pretty good. So that tells me that ball's pretty early compared to the first ball. It's a lot cleaner, a lot tippier. Last new ball, the new knockout bruiser. Again, same spot as the other three. We'll go from there. Interesting. Ref, ref, out there, anyone, ref? Oh my gosh, I'm the worst bowler ever. Trip it. Honestly, I just said trip it as a joke. I didn't think it was possible to trip that and whatever. Guys, I promise you, you've seen it in the vlogs. I don't get breaks like this. Only when it doesn't matter, like practicing on lane 39 at my home center. That was a little better. Jeez. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I get all the breaks. I'm not packy. You know the drill by now. Moving in about 10 boards. Let's see if we can hook this ball. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little shocked that that continued on the first shot.
Not as good a shot, but that's more what I expect from this ball so far. I think that first one, I got it to the right spot at just the right time. I don't even know what that means, honestly. <laughs> like that? All right, not bad. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised, a little surprised. We're moving left, higher ball speed shot. Honestly, that wasn't a very good shot. It was the right miss though. There's a little bit of a puddle there, so it just kind of laid in the puddle. But it was a little inside of where I wanted to throw it. Not that one though. That was a better shot. Shot number three is on a little firmer. I hate that word, firmer. It just sounds wrong. It doesn't sound like a real word. Firmer? Firmer. So I think this ball is going to be more of that special niche type bowling ball because it's pretty early, just like that explosion. Kind of bailed out when I would try to hook it. Um, if I threw it a little hard, it might get a little lazy down lane. Well, this one still continues. Even though I feel like it's picking up just about as early as the explosion is, it keeps going. So I think it kind of fits right in the middle of those two that I have with this one. Guys, while I'm throwing shots with these bowling balls, to give you the quick summary of what I'm getting at is test the limits of your new bowling ball. Don't worry about your score. Don't worry about if you're shooting 250, 150, whatever your average is. Go out there and see what you can do with this bowling ball. Throw it in the oil, throw it in the dry, hook it, throw it straight. Really test the limits of this bowling ball so you can get a better understanding of what it does if you miss in the oil or if you miss to the dry, does it overhook, underhook. You want to gather as much information as you can, as you can see with your eye when you're throwing these bowling balls. So don't go out there and just throw it in your favorite spot a million times in a row and hope that you shoot 300. Go out there and bowl in parts of lane that you're not comfortable with because you might realize that this ball allows you to play parts of lane that you don't usually play with other bowling balls. So test the limits of these new bowling balls. Really get a feel for the rights and wrongs of what they do. All right, guys, I had three new bowling balls today. We tested them out. We see if they could hook, if we could play straighter with them. We found the differences between the three. So I hope that these tips really helped you guys out when you get your new bowling ball so you can go into league with a better understanding of how to maximize those point totals, baby. So um, I'm getting tired holding three bowling balls up right now. So thanks for watching. Oh!